Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to join you via this message to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the entry into force of the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. Earlier this year, I had an opportunity to visit the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. About 1,000 kilometers from the North Pole, I witnessed a wealth of potential, a wealth of future plant life being gathered. Because keeping the global agricultural and food system sustainable and resilient is a shared and common goal, it struck me that an enhanced partnership between us could have a wealth of potential too. In the Central and West Asia and North African regions, for example, land is disappearing at an alarming rate due to degradation, desertification and drought. These regions are major centers of diversity for crops of global importance. In these regions and worldwide, initiatives supported by the treaty to conserve dryland agrobiodiversity are of crucial importance to us. You are providing a vital platform for joint national, regional and international efforts to secure our remaining genetic resources. And the treaty is at the forefront of making benefit sharing a reality on the ground by helping to fund forward-looking agricultural projects. So, certainly, access to the most appropriate improved varieties will help vulnerable farming communities adapt and become resilient in the face of land degradation and future climate change. At the same time, however, productive land is also crucial if we are to reap the benefit of crop diversity. UNCCD is also celebrating 20 years of land stewardship this year. As we strive to achieve a land degradation neutral world, I hope we can work with you to deliver on this great potential. Congratulations, I wish you a successful celebration of the anniversary.